Hello everyone and welcome to Mycotech Labs for Beginners. My name is Mar Haddad and I am the trainer of this course. Let's go directly to the first slide and see what we have to do in this lab. So by end of this uh, lecture, we are going to be able to connect to the Mycotech router or, or router board using the Winbox tool. And then we have to understand how to use the Winbox and to use it uh, to be able to configure and troubleshoot our Mycotech router. And of course, we are going to do our first lab. Okay, so this course is going to be more labs than theory. Okay, I really suggest that if you have problems in uh, the theory behind of this lab, then you can possibly subscribe to some courses which are available on uh, Udemy. Now, of course, uh, you can uh, uh, learn the theory and then labs uh, will be very easy for you to be uh, applying it. Okay. So here is what we have. We are now having a Mycotech router uh, over here, which is connected uh, to our PC, or let's say we would like to connect it now via cable to our PC. So here are the steps that we have to go through. And those steps are really like for the entry of uh, how to configure Mycotech router. Okay, so let's see what we have to do in this lab. Now we have first to uh, connect uh, here the Ethernet one of the router uh, interface um, uh, one, Ethernet one, uh, to the PC using the UTP cable. Okay, um, at uh, my side here, I have already installed my router. It has been resetted also, there's no configuration on it. And I have connected my network card of my PC via cable to the Mycotech router of Ethernet one uh, interface. And then I have to download Winbox from the Mycritic website. Okay, I will open here uh, www.mycritic.com. All right, from here you can go to download. And then from download over here, you have to scroll down and then you have the Winbox version 3.4. So I will click on it and um, downloading. Open the folder and then I move it to my desktop. Okay. Okay. So we, we go back to, to the steps here. So uh, we are now on the step number two website with an E here. And then we need now to start connecting to the router. Okay. We have to connect to the router via Winbox using the username, admin, and the password back. Just to uh, show you here, this is the lab what we have. Actually, uh, the first thing you have to uh, recognize with Mycritic is that uh, your password uh, is always blank and uh, the username is admin. So as I have already resetted my router, I have no, no default configuration on it. So now I will go to Winbox. This is the router that we are going to work on. What you can see here when you open Winbox, it will directly discover which router is in the neighbor. If you are connected via cable like we or via wireless or any type of connectivity. Okay. Here it shows, it shows you the MAC address of the router and it shows you also the IP. As the uh, router doesn't have an IP, so because it's just resetted, so it shows zeros. But the MAC address normally is always uh, built in uh, on the uh, network card interface of the router. So that's why we sh it shows here. Now, you may ask me now, how is possible that we can connect to the router if we don't have an IP? And the beauty of the Mycritic is that you can connect to the router using the MAC address of the router. So I just put on it and it shows here connect to admin. The login is fine. Admin password wiki will leave it blank and then connect. And here we go. Now we are connected to the Mycritic router. That's our first connection to the router. Let's check what we need to do at other steps also. So step number three is also done. Now check the IP address of the router and set an IP address of the same range on your PC. It's always highly recommended uh, to put um, or to make connectivity between, between if we go back here to, uh, to uh, the graph here, um, we are now connected uh, to the MAC address, right? We said that uh, we're using now the MAC address here. So, but I always uh, recommend to put an IP here. So we put an IP address over here. And of course, on the interface here, we put an IP address to be in the same range. And then we have a layer three connectivity between our Winbox or our PC and, and the Mycotech router is my, way much better then now you are on connectivity with MAC addresses because the MAC address sometimes it's really not very uh, stable, okay? So I really highly recommend that we put an IP address and that's really the step that we need to do uh, now. Okay, so let's go here and see what we have to, we have to, to check if we have an IP and then 
we have to put an IP address on their PC and most probably on the router to be at the same range. To do that, inside here, but before I before I start doing this task, let me just show you a little bit about uh, the Winbox. This is the Winbox over here. These are uh, all places where you can do your configuration and your troubleshooting. For instance, if you want to know how many interfaces you have here, you can just click on interface. You have four interfaces and you have WN, which is off. I'm using now interface number one. All these are tabs you can find over here that you can really make changes. Also here for the wireless, all the configuration that you need to make on the wireless, you can find it over here. So it's really a very nice tool. Um, uh, I would say the router and also the Winbox. Uh, they are really very efficient for people who are really looking for some cost-effective router product and really very stable. Okay. Now, uh, I have to check if we have an IP address, so I have to go to IP and then I go to addresses, okay? As you can see here in this list, I have absolutely no IP address on my router. They asked us to put it on the, on the same range, yeah? I will pick up an IP address now. I will say, well, let's put on, I'm now connected to Ethernet 2, right? So I put 10.0.0.1 slash 24. I'm putting now this IP on Ethernet 1. You can see when you want to add something, you just click on plus. When you want to delete something, you just make it on, click on minus. And if you want to disable it, you can just on this cross here, you just make it like this and then it's disabled. You want to enable it, you just make it enable. Okay. So plus is to create, minus is to delete. All right. Now I have an IP address on my, on my Ethernet interface. Let me now also get an IP address on my PC from the same range as the Asmus. I go to my adapter here and that is my local air network. Uh, and then I say 10.0.0. say the two. Okay. 255.255.255.0. I can put also this, uh, this is the gateway. Now, before I go to the step number five, let me just disconnect from the router now because I'm connecting now or I'm connected via the MAC address. Now you can see I have an IP over here, right? Because I just set it. And then if I connect to it now, I'm connecting to the IP and not to the MAC address anymore. So it's more stable. Okay. Now, step number five, ping from your PC to the router. Does it work? Let's try. I will go to my uh command line here and i will try to ping from my pc to 10.0.0.1 that's the router as you can see i have a reply very well actually if it, if i didn't have a reply uh, then i would not be able to be connected to uh, winbox via the ip address yeah now the step number six is to change the identity of the router to my critic lab one so what is the identity as you can see here the name of the router is my critic Okay, if I want that, uh, this is the name is always um, important because I can dif differentiate this router as, to, as uh, let's say, in which department in my company. Uh, okay, so it's always to use the identity that uh, we would like to give it to the router. So now if I go to system here and then to identity, and now what is the identity? It's my Mike Lab 1. Okay, M I K Lab 1. So this is how we do it. System identity, you change it and then you say, okay, and look here directly, it's changing now. So now again, if I disconnect and now I want to connect again, and then you can see now the name has, the identity has shown here on my Winbox. And that's very important that you always put the name here, which refer to something that you know that this router is installed in that place. Okay. This step is also done. Now, connect your router via webconfig and via SSH. Here, I want to go back to my graph here, and I want to show you something. Actually, what we have done now is we have connected to the router from my PC using Winbox to connect to uh, to the router, okay? There are some other ways to connect to the router. One of them is to use the webconfig. Webconfig is, is to connect to the router via HTTP, means via browser. Instead of installing Winbox on my computer or download it to my computer and then to make the, the, the change uh, I need on the router, I can, from the URL, uh, put the IP address of the router and then, in this case, I can also log in and then I can do the, the, the change needed. So, this is what we call the web config. We have another way also to connect to the router, but that's a command line here. 
is either by Telnet or by SSH. Both of them are uh, command line. Okay. Uh, the difference between the Telnet and the SSH is Telnet send all the command that we do clear text. Okay, clear text means means it's just if someone is uh, able to sniff our um, connectivity, he can really get the command that we are sending to the router. While in SSH, it's encrypted. Okay, it's encrypted. It's more secured. And then we are sure that what we are sending in no one is intercepting them and see what we, we're putting as command on the router. Okay, so these are the ways that we can connect to, to, my, to the Mycotic uh, router. So now uh, the question they ask us is to connect to the router via webconfig and via SSH. As we have already set an IP address on this router, which is 10.0.0.1, right? 10.0.0.1. And here we set an IP address of 10.0.0.2. That's on the same range. Then in this case, what I can do, I can just go to my uh, browser here and I can uh, say, well, I want to connect to 10.0.0.1. Okay, as you can see, I'm directly logging to the web config and that's really where configuration is coming. And here I am now inside the router, right? As you can see, it's really similar to Winbox. Look, uh, look what we have here in Wim this is Winbox. Okay, let me just make it smaller. Look at the, at the settings here. Quick set, uh, Capsman, wireless, bridge, same, PPP, PPP, mesh, mesh, okay? But I always like to work more on Winbox because it's not a web uh, interface. All right, so you can see here if you go to IP, we'll just check now IP address. Yeah, you can see this is the IP address that we have set. You can remove it, you can apply it on, put another one, okay? So it's really a very nice way to do uh, the configuration via if you don't have a, the one box. If you have one box, always use one box. That's my recommendation to you. So the lab was saying here, connect web, web config we did and via SSH. Via SSH. To connect via SSH, uh, you need to have a, a software, a small uh, software like Putty, for instance. I think I don't have it here, so let me just try to download it from the internet. Um, let's see. Putty download. Okay. Yeah, let's see this one. You can download Putty. That's a, a freeware software that you can download it. Okay. So now we have the Putty already on our computer. I will stop this lecture here and I will continue the lab in the upcoming lecture.